Alhamdulillah, we have here with us today our Sheikh Hassan Somali, and today we're going to do a short talk and a reminder uh, in conjunction with our sisters from uh, Botswana, Allah, and inshallah tonight's, today's topic rather would be the explanation of the verse, Ihdin as-sarat al-mustaqim, guide us on his straight path, straight path. So without further ado, I give uh, our Sheikh, our brother Hafizahullah, uh, Hassan Somali. Zakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, uh, Sheikh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hayakum Allah ya Yusuf. Allah alaikum. Barakallah fikum. Tafadal, Sheikh. Tafadal. Alhamdulillah, alladhi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa dini al-haq. ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إقرارا به وتوحيدا وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما مزيدا ما بعد So the topic of today's brief reminder is concerning an amazing supplication that we find in the greatest surah in the Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha. And this is something that the Muslim repeats in every rak'ah, in every prayer. To the extent that Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he said, وَمِنْ هُنَا يُعْلَمْ إِتْتِرَارَ الْعَبْدِ إِلَى هَذِي الدَّعْوَةِ فَوْكَ كُلِّ ضَرُورَةِ That the servant's need and requirement of this supplication exceeds and goes beyond the need of any other necessity. And this is the dua, the supplication, اِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. Because the servant is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the attainment of all that is good in this world and the hereafter and security and safety from all that is evil. And whoever is guided to this straight path in this world, then they will be guided to the bridge of Sirat that is over the hellfire in the hereafter. And a person's firmness upon this path in this world determines their firmness upon the Sirat, the bridge, in the hereafter. And the extent of a person's motion and journey upon the straight path in this world, then that will determine the speed that they pass over the bridge that is over the hellfire that leads to paradise in the akhirah in the hereafter. So in this dua, the servant says, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. And if we were to just look briefly at the explanation of some of the companions and their students and the students of the students of the companions and others from the Salaf, then we would see the meaning of a sirat al-mustaqim that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to in every rak'ah, in every prayer. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, he said, the straight path is Islam. إِهْدِنَ oh الصِّرَاطِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. The straight path is Islam. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, he said that the straight path is referring to the Qur'an. The book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sa'id ibn Jubair, he said that the straight path is tariq al-jannah, the path that leads to paradise. Others said that the straight path is referring to the path of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sahal ibn Abdullah, he said that this is tariq al-sunnati wal-jama'ah, the path of the sunnah and the orthodox body. Abu Al-Aliya and Al-Hasan Al-Basri, rahimahumullahu ta'ala, they said that 
This is the path of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the path of his family and his two companions. So in reality, Alhamdulillah, the straight path is referring to all of these things. And if we were to sum it up in a concise statement, we would say that the straight path is the implementation of the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, at the head of them, the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is the path that leads to paradise. In this supplication, when the servant says, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, O Allah, guide us to the straight path, then also, brothers and sisters, there is another benefit. And there are many benefits that could be discussed as it relates to these verses. Another benefit is, is that there are three groups of people as it relates to knowing the truth and implementing it. The first group of people are those who know the truth, يعرفون الحق, and they implement it. And they are the happiest of the people in this world and in the hereafter. The second group of people, because remember, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ mustaqim, Guide us to the straight path. صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِينَ The path of those whom you have blessed and not the path of those who have earned your anger, nor the path of those who have gone astray. So the second group of people are those who have earned the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are those that they know the truth, يَعْرِفُونَ الْحَقِّ وَلَكِنَّهُمْ يَتَّبِعُونَ أَهْوَاءَهُمْ But they follow their designs. And that is why knowledge alone is not sufficient. Rather, it is required for the servant to implement that knowledge. That correct knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them with. So that they can be amongst those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us and you from amongst them. The third group of people are those who are astray or those who are misguided. And they are those who are ignorant of the truth. And when we say, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. Then look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentioned a sirat al-mustaqim, the straight path, in this verse, in the definite form. It's ma'rifah. And when Allah azza wa jalla subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, sirat al-ladheena an'amta alayhim, the path of those whom you have blessed. This is also ma'rifah, ma'arraf. Because it is a next, it is mudaf to something that is definite. And this establishes for us brothers and sisters that this straight path, the only path that leads to paradise, the only path that leads to happiness and prosperity and success in this world and happiness as sa'ada, eternal happiness in the hereafter, it is one path. Huwa sirat wahid. One path that leads to Allah Azza wa Jal. One path that leads to paradise. And it is the path that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. However, the path of those who have earned the anger of Allah Azza wa Jal and the path of those who have gone astray, there are many parts. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He informs us in the Quran, وَأَنَّ هَذَا صِرَاطِي مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُوا وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا السُّبَلَ فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ And this is my path. So follow it. And do not follow the other paths. Look how Allah Azza wa Jal, He referred to the paths of misguidance in the plural form because there are many May Allah protect us all from them. وَأَنَّ هَذَا الصِّرَاطِي مُسْتَقِيمًا And this is my straight path, so follow it. 
and do not follow the other parts, the divergent, deviant parts, because they will cause you to stray from the straight path. And another benefit, brothers and sisters, when we say, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. Is that the majority of the creation, they have turned away from the straight path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated for us all to follow. And if we were to do some simple mathematics, and look at the amount of Muslims in the world compared to the people of disbelief, then the Muslims are less than a third of the earth's population, so that they are, they are a minority. And amongst the Muslims, the people who adhere to the Quran and to the Sunnah with the understanding of the companions, as it relates to their worship, as it relates to their belief, as it relates to their methodology, they are the minority amongst the minority. In this verse, there is an encouragement for every Muslim to not feel lonely due to the small amount of people that may be upon the truth, upon this straight path that leads to paradise, that leads to eternal bliss, the path that Allah has legislated. Some of the Salaf, they said, It is upon you to stick and adhere to the path of truth. And do not feel lonely because of the few that are traversing and walking upon this path. And beware of the path of falsehood. Misguidance. And do not be fooled by the large number of people that are going to be destroyed. So in this we find solace and an encouragement to be patient upon the book of Allah and the son of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even in the face of opposition, even in the face of difficulty, and to look, brothers and sisters, to your companions upon this path. Who are your companions upon this path that Allah Azza wa subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated? If we were to look at the eye in Surah An Nisa, Allah said, فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّيقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقٌ Whoever obeys Allah and the messengers, then they will be with those, they will be with those whom Allah has blessed. Remember, going back to Surah Al-Fatiha, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ O oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. Sirat al an'amta alayhim, the path of those whom you have blessed. Remember now the ayah in Surah An-Nisa, وَمَنْ يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ Whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger, then they will be with those whom Allah has blessed from the prophets, from the truthful, who always attest, attest to the truth. And the martyrs, and the righteous, and they are the best companions. They are the best companions. So when a person has a moment when they, when they are feeling lonely, when a person has a moment when they are feeling down, when a person has a moment because these things are going to affect all of us, and none of us are immune from these type of feelings, then remember, that our companions upon this path, they are the best of mankind and the best of the creation. So this supplication is something, brothers and sisters, that when we say it, 
we should we should understand its meaning and we should be mindful of the many benefits that we find in this supplication ihdinas siratal mustaqim oh allah guide us to the straight path and we should not overlook the importance of this dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated for us to say in every raka'ah of our prayers. And I'll suffice with that. Wa illa Allah can be said. And a lot of the benefits that I mentioned today, they were summarized from the words of Imam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah from his book Madarij al-Salikin, which is a priceless work that Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he compiled it contains numerous benefits that I advise the brothers and sisters to refer to so that we can all benefit bi-idhnillahi ta'ala wa jazakumullahu khayran Barakallahu feekum wa ahsan allahu ilaykum Shaykh Hassan mashallah jazakumullahu khayr for that reminder um, just a Quick question about the verse itself, though, before we go into the questions that was sent forward. Um, just, you know, at the end of Surah Al-Fatiha, Allah says, um, Surah Al-Ladheena An'amta Alayhim Wa Ghayr Al-Maghdubi Alayhim Wa Lad-Dalleen Yani, we, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the tafsir of the verse means Ghayr Al-Maghdubi Alayhim is referred to as the Jews and Al-Dalleen is the Christians. Um, is that exclusive to them or can it be applied to other than them and you know how do we understand that verse in, in regards to that like is that is that tafsir correct first of all and second of all who else does it refer to barakallahu feekum that explanation has been mentioned by some of the scholars of Islam but no doubt it is also referring to anyone if we were to look at the saying of Allah Azza wa Jal, غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Those who have earned the anger of Allah Azza wa Jal encompasses anyone who has knowledge of the truth, but they do not implement it because they follow their desires and they give their desires precedence with Iyadu Billah over the truth. They give their desires precedence over the text of the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those who have gone astray, yes, as has been mentioned by the scholars of Tafsir, it is referring to the Christians, but also encompasses anyone who is ignorant of the truth. Those who act based upon ignorance, and both groups are censored in these verses. And that is why the people of truth, those whom, those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed, they are distinct because they possess knowledge and they implement that knowledge. And they are the happiest of the people in this world and they are the happiest of the people in the akhirah and the hereafter. And that, again, shows us the importance of clarity, being upon clarity in one's belief, being upon clarity in one's ibadah worship, being upon clarity in one's character, being, being upon clarity in uh, uh, one's morals, being upon clarity in all affairs of the religion, and clearly accepting and acknowledging and vocalizing the truth, and rejecting falsehood. Because when a person recites Surah Al-Fatiha in their prayer, they are seeking refuge with Allah Azza wa Jal from the path of those who have acquired and earned the anger of Allah Azza wa Jal and those who have gone astray. And they're asking Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide them to the path of those who are successful and they are the people of knowledge and those who implement their knowledge now. Zakum Allahu khairan and barakallahu fikum for your time. I know I speak <clears throat> on behalf of the 
uh, sisters as well as everyone else who was listening to us online and the brothers and sisters here in Trinidad and Tobago as well when we say Zakam Allah khair for the advice and for you taking your time out and your, and your busy schedule to advise us on this very very important topic and uh, perhaps there was quite a lot of questions mashallah but uh, no, perhaps time next time we'll leave it for another session yes 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 inshallah very important and I think it's uh, it's important that we interact and try to give Clarity to some of these affairs that are affecting us here in the West. Barakallahu feekum, Sheikh, and uh, may Allah bless you. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdika, shadu an la ilaha ila ant, astaghfiru ka wa natubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.